Right folks, good morning and welcome to Jagglers where we are having a, a shave. Now this morning, we're going to be trying out one of these new um, four bladed Mach things, Wilkinson Sword Mach razors. So, I've never used one before, but tell you what folks, I really like the, uh, the, the plastic sort of feel of the whole thing. It's, it's really sort of chunky and it comes with this sort of protector thing, it comes off anyway. And uh, it's got this, this bendy look, it bends, bends to your contours, folks. And uh, I just like the whole feel, like it's nice, it's uh, it's ergonomic, is that the word? I think they're called ergonomic. And it's got four blades, is it four? No, hang on, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, I think it says three, Mach three. Mach three. I normally just use a Wilkinson sword, um, no, I don't, I normally use a Gillette uh, Bluetooth slalom, but, we're going to be trying these now. I might pull some funny faces while I'm shaving here, but uh, let's see how we go. Oh, I say you can actually see the whole thing. The whole thing actually bend as you're as you're shaving it with the uh, along the contours of your chiselled chiselled face, man. Wow, amazing. Yeah, I must say that's uh, quite impressive. Smooth action, man, I must say. Most impressed. Okay. Well, look, we're almost done. In about a minute. Chin bit. This bit's the normal bit where I have a bit of problem. Uh, no, there we go. We've got to be, got to be dainty, but be careful there. Oh. Yeah, so there we go. I must say, most impressed with that man. That was about a minute to shave, and it, it did. It went to, went down all the contours on my face. I've got a nice smooth shave there, I must admit, folks. Brilliant. Wonderful. So, yeah, thoroughly recommend that, folks. Mach 4 Wilkinson Sword. I'll be buying some more of them. I think we've got them in the uh, B&M's for uh, just a couple of quid. Now, B&M's, I asked what B&M stood for. Somebody said it stood for Bark and Madness. And then somebody else, no, the same chap said it was uh, to do with Biblington Man Manyard, the, the guy who invented B&M seemingly, so I don't know. Here's another thing, folks, by the way. Um, I've often wondered, why do aerosol things need a top on them when they quite clearly, you know, it, it doesn't really need a top, does it? Because, oh, that's too wet to open. Because it's, um, well, you know, it's just like this. The thing is, um, it's just in case you need a top on it. It's just in case there is an explosion with with the air inside. Say something happens to the air, it combusts with some other sort of um, chemical reaction or something. It could explode and have a massive spillage. So this is why you need a top on most aerosols. Um, you'll, you'll notice uh, all aerosols have got some sort of top on them, and that is to stop just in case there is a chemical reaction and uh, it explodes. Right, so I don't know how many shaves I get out of this, by the way. I normally get about, when you get about two shaves out of the, uh, the the Gillette thing. So we'll see how many we get out of this. See if we can put the protector back on. There we go, the protector. Now, as I said, I like the uh, the whole chunky, the chunky plastic feel of it, man. It's, it's, it's great, look at that. Ergonomic, very nice indeed. So, thoroughly recommend that, folks. Thank you. And of course, we have to finish off our shave with a, uh, with, Nivea, Nivea Men, sensitive balm. Put a bit of moisturiser on there just to keep my skin protected. Right, there we go. Yeah, so once again, this was from the B&M's, a couple of quid. Normally it's in Asda, it's for like 4 99 B&M's only Two pounds fifty or something for that. So, what a what a bargain B and M's is, man. Love it. <clears throat> my new favourite shop. Okay, um, just need to clean my teeth, and that's me ready for. <laughs>
I've got lots of maps, I don't know where they lead I've got lots of books that I can't even read I've got lots of puzzle boxes, I don't know what's inside of them But we're all going crazy until we find our way home Oh yeah, and we're all going crazy until we go home I've got some gadgets, I don't know what they do I've got puzzle boxes I don't know what's inside of them I've got lots of posters that I haven't put up yet But we're all going crazy until we can find our way home Oh yeah, cause we're all going crazy until we go home Well, I've got a black telephone that I had to hang on for I've got a clock that comes from 1974 I've got a camera that doesn't even have a school for it Yellow 33, blue 59, yellow 35, yellow 28, blue 40. Thank you, Sheena. Yellow 32, yellow 27. I'm going to be on the spot here, Sheena, and ask you who's the best caller in Dundee? Gordon. Okay, and who's, the, well, in Scotland, in fact. I only come to Douglas Fields, it's got to be Gordon. It's got to be me. Thank you very much. Thank you, Shane. That's all right. Right, folks, here we are. We have arrived at the uh, Green Pyramid of Consumerism where we need to go and get some messages for the weekend. Here we go. Walking fast, walking very fast. Walking fast, 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 walking fast, walking very fast. Sprinkler stop valve. Goodness me, look at it. Wow. This is the, uh, the sprinkler system. Crikey, look at it. Wow. So, yes, there you go, folks. Not sure how it all works, but uh, there it is. Wow. Amazing. Right, folks. Now I'm going to try and get rid of this uh, the scoosh. The water in my scoosh tank is absolutely stagnant. I don't know what's caused it. Um, I used some scoosh that I found in the cellar, so I think that was a bit off when I put it in. And the water just stinks every time I I uh, scoosh it. If this, when you wipe the window, it stinks like anything, man. So we're going to try and get rid of all the water in there, and then we'll put some fresh stuff in. So we get on with this. So here we go. Let's get rid of all this. You can even see it's a bit gloopy looking, it's horrible, look at it. Yuck. Let's get rid of it all. I'm not going to tell what it looks like coming out there. So. <laughs> Sploosh. It's horrible, isn't it? Come on. That's it. I think it's empty. That's it. It's done. It's empty. Right. Oh, that smells horrific, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, poor. Squish goes in there. Squish ready. Water ready. Here we go. Ram your seagull, folks. Someone's upset them. Birds. It's like dang warfare. It's a seagull around me, folks. It's the biggest seagull around me ever. Thank you. What's going on? Down. No, it's still going. I 
must have closed out of there. There ain't clothes going there, man. Out of there. There's some more coming in now to the fray, and joining in. Like Game of Thrones here, Game of Seagulls. I think they've settled down now, folks. I think that's it. Well, that was a massive seagull around me there. I think they're still going at it. It's like, I think some crows got in there and started to uh, to hassle the, the seagulls. And the seagulls all sort of ganged up together. They're still going at it, man. Wow, yeah, it's a bit of a, a bit massive squabble, a seagull squabble going on. <laughs> well, folks, a bit of a disaster here. My uh, my map has has fallen. Look broken right so <clears throat> excuse me folks the map has actually fallen and i'm i'm not i can't actually remember where the map was folks it's it's, it's fallen off the wall i think it was from up there somewhere was it, i think it was up there i need to check back on some videos and have a look but uh yeah it's, it's fallen man a pure disaster i've got this map for a tenner it was on special offer um uh, from a place i think it was in was it edinburgh I got it from a shop in Edinburgh, yeah, and it was, it was a special offer on the map of Scotland. It's a beautiful map, absolutely beautiful thing. So I'll need to get a new frame for that. Um, and be careful with this. It's, it's not actual glass, it's like plasty kind of glass, if you know what I mean. So it's, it's not too dangerous, but I've seen to get rid of that. So, um, yeah, a bit of a, a strange one. I don't know how it's happened. It, Rosie said there was a massive bang, and uh, it must have just slipped down back. I think it was, it was a, oh God, I've stood in a bit of glass, oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Here's me going on about it as well. I've just, oh my goodness me. I've, oh, look at that. I've, I've, right, I'm just going to have to abandon ship here, folks, and just and just put this in a bag and get out of here before I cause any more damage and work out what's happened uh, later on. I have to do a bit of investigation.